have the pretension to, to teach somebody something new. But what to do with their own knowledge? How to translate it into practical steps? We just share with them the Israeli know-how. The center has been established by Golda Meir when she was a foreign minister of Israel in 1961. When she went to Africa, she realized that women were not taken into consideration in the process of development. And she said it's impossible for a country to develop itself without taking 52% of its population into account. We need to help these people to help themselves. And she started by organizing an international conference for women leaders, the first one in the world. So she invited 66 women from Europe, from United States, from Africa and from Asia. And one of the conclusions of the first event was the establishment in Israel of an international center for women, where women from the grassroots level even can receive an appropriate training to be part of the process of development. This is the philosophy be behind the International Cooperation Program of Israel. During the first decade, we received only women here, and we were absolutely sure that these women could be agent of change, as I said previously, and help their own communities. And after 10 years, the founding director of the center, Mina Ben Svi, went for a follow-up survey in Africa again, and the big surprise for her was to see that nothing happened. We came to the conclusion that without including men in our programs, without speaking about gender issues, without convincing the men that women are able to do and to work together with them, we cannot really make changes. What we want to do is to bring men and women to work together for the benefit of their own communities, of their own nations. Israel is very proud to be one of the first to be involved in international development cooperation. It might sound strange, but this is a fact. Mashav was established way back in the 50s, and Mount Carmel Institute was established in 1961 making it the first institution in the world dealing with empowerment of women and gender equality vis-a-vis -vis development. And one can ask why, how come Israel, small Israel? If you look at the history of the Jewish people, you'll find out that women played very important role in the establishing and strengthening the society, the community, all the way from biblical times until uh, recent days. Without the active participation of women in every walk of life, there's no growth, there's no development, there's no sustainability in every domain. Mount Carmel became, in a way, the first institution in uh, the world of this kind, working in more than 100 countries, having the uh, opportunity of joining hands with thousands of experts from all around the world, all the way from Africa, Asia, Latin America, and even in the Middle East. We have four pillars. One is community development. The second one is early child education, micro-enterprise development as a tool for poverty alleviation and for women's empowerment. And the fourth one is gender issues. We go in this way of sharing our experience with uh, countries which can uh, receive that experience and adapt, not adopt, and adapt the experience to their own needs. I'm Sridhar Lamisane from Nepal. I am so happy I, I got an opportunity to come here to share our experience as well as the experience in Israel. They have many, many good, good things to take from here to Nepal. Israel can share many things and they're so kind being there. My name is uh, Lydia Kozarčanin. I am from uh, Serbia. I think that cooperation and making and building that cooperation and friendship among us is the, is the main 
uh, of main importance. That means uh, that we in a policy, in everyday life, uh, must do a lot of things to, to improve our situation and to learn from you how to do it. One thing nobody can deny is the fact that Israel started with nothing and today is one of the most uh, uh, advanced countries in the world. Every participant who has been here in, at the Golda Meir Center for me is an agent of change. And we could see the differences when we go to the countries uh, of origin and we could see what has been done with nothing really. I personally try to give to our participants, you can do it. If only you want to, you can do it. The Israelites are very hard working people. Changing this desert place to this, oh, it's marvelous. And, and I believe this nation, you are blessed. We Ghanaians, to have all what we are seeing here, we need to change our mindset and our attitude. And we should always think about the nation first. And that is what we are taking back home. I heard about the name Goldmere and I knew about her. But this center, to be honest, I did not know about it. And I thought this is something new that is happening in Israel. But when I got here and looked a little bit at the website and internet and realized that and this is going to be 50 years of training and 16,000 people from all over the world were trained here in this center. I think this is the most positive experience that I had in this center and I am having. And to meet these people working here personally, uh, as I came even today in the morning asking uh, that, is it okay to make a cup of coffee? And Martha told me, this is your home now. And I felt at home and it is really touching. It's giving me a little bit more, well, a lot more knowledge and um, therefore a lot more confidence in a way, because there would have been a lot of the areas we're discussing aren't particularly new to me, but they are you know, they're explored in, in a detail. Everybody is very encouraging, particularly here at the center. They were for the advancement of everybody around them. There was nothing that they knew that they weren't willing to tell you. So I'm, I get that sense from Israeli people. I have picked up anyway, personally. When you expose the person to what you wanted to see, you find that the person rises up to expectation. We want to thank you so much for all the contributions that you have given us. You are all very warm. You all want to help us. You all want to come amongst us and have a lot of discussions. We are saying Toda Raba to you all. The center has touched thousands and thousands of women from 147 countries in the world, even countries which have no a relationship with Israel. And uh, for example, we have, uh, since uh, last decade, we have hundreds and hundreds of Palestinian women who have been turned here. We also sent Israeli experts to various countries to complete, to, to follow, to uh, give more support to those who have been trained here. So this combination of programs, bringing people to Israel, sending Israeli experts abroad, has a tremendous impact. For me, this is the story of my life. When I started working at the center, I was a new immigrant from Morocco. I told myself, my goodness, this is pure Zionism. And I wanted to devote myself to this work. I am so proud of Israel, because especially in, the, in these days, when Israel is attacked by, uh, by all the world, miles and miles away from Israel, there are corners in the world where Israel is seen as, as a helper, as a, a country which gives so much without expecting to receive something. We planted seeds, seeds of development, with the hope that, yes, they can, one day they can benefit for sustainable development in their own regions, all of them. We are very proud to have Mount Carmel Institute as part of Mashab 
as part of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs as a unique institution that brings to the world the wealth of knowledge which have been accumulated in Israel, the wealth of goodwill, extending and reaching a helping hand for the betterment of the younger generations. I would like to wish Mount Carmel and its dedicated staff all the best and shalom to all of you.